Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some big news to go over for the new Nintendo Direct which is rumoured to be coming out very very soon. We also have some Pokemon Scarlet and Violet updates to go over as well. Plenty of stuff to cover today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. What would you love to see in the next Nintendo Direct? Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we're back with Summer's Hunter once again. Again, you can choose to believe her or not. It's completely up to you. She's got things right in the past. She's got things wrong in the past. She seems to have got quite a few things right recently. And she's again talking about the upcoming Nintendo Direct. Now, again, this is apparently a leak. I don't know if it is or if it's credible or anything like that. But she basically tweeted out saying, I know people are hungry for a Direct. And many asked me about when it was going to be. I addressed that a couple of weeks ago. And now we have more evidence that my source was correct. A leaked email that was badly uncensored confirmed a planned presentation for the 15th of June. Now this is the image. Again, I don't know if it's true or not. Um, I don't know. It could just be like a random email that was sent. But apparently this is a leaked email. Um, and it says to learn more about the game, visit the official scribbled out page here, download assets here or watch the latest trailer here. So again, this seems to be about some sort of game coming out. It says something about collect soul cards to attack your foes, discard them to use unique something abilities and com something competitor the best times by cleverly combining cards. So it's clearly some sort of card game that has like assassins in it, which is going to be getting revealed in the next Nintendo Direct. Uh, but it says to, uh, if interested in a review code, share your platform preference, which is obviously Nintendo Switch or PC via stream, uh, Steam should I say. Please note that Switch codes will not be activated until that is visible in the Nintendo eShop. Confirm you can agree to hold any review coverage until Wednesday, June the 15th at 9am PT slash 12pm ET. So this is apparently when the Nintendo Direct is going to be. Again, we've had no confirmation of it yet. But that is apparently when it is going to be um, ET and live stream gameplay guides or let's play video coverage until June the 16th at 9 a.m. PT slash 12 p.m. ET. So basically what this email is, is um, it's just a code um, to allow this person, whoever it is, to play this game early and, and record stuff and then obviously make all that stuff live once the game is live in the Nintendo eShop. So yeah, obviously we always get like these kind of codes and stuff sent off for like new games to, you know, big YouTubers and streamers and stuff just so... You know, people watch them play it and then we'll buy the game, etc. But yeah, this is apparently some new leaked information about the next upcoming Nintendo Switch. Again, we don't know what the game is going to be here. It's some sort of card game. Soul cards, I don't know what that is um, at all. I'm not... I, Magic Gathering, I have absolutely no idea. I, I don't play it. Um, but yeah, apparently that is going to be announced in the Nintendo Direct. We have people here saying, thanks, Amazon. Hunter. Do you have some information about the content? Metroid Prime HD will be one of the main titles announced. There will be a lot of confirmation with already announced titles, though. Uh, and then also, do you still, uh, do you, are you still confident about Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 showing on the Direct? I never said that the sequel to Breath of the Wild will be revealed for sure. I only said that between the multilingual uh, dub and some patent assignments requests, there are chances that the game will be featured, but I can't confirm it. Um, but why do we have eShop promos this week? Usually the promos are there the same week as they are live. Likely to capitalize on the Summer Game Fest and third-party developers. Uh, and then that's kind of it. She doesn't really reply to anything else. This is just a fake, by the way. It's not actually real. Um, but yeah, there is obviously a lot of talk about a potential Treehouse Live also being um, a thing after this Nintendo Direct, which obviously Pokemon Scarlet and Violet could definitely feature in. We had that with Pokemon Sword and Shield. So if a Treehouse Live is also announced... Again, we don't know when the announcement's going to be. Um, it'll probably be early next week, because June the 15th is next Wednesday. Um, so the announcement for the Nintendo Direct will probably be uh, Monday or Tuesday. Um, but either way, if there is also a Treehouse Live that is announced, we can hopefully expect some Scarlet and Violet stuff, some maybe some gameplay and stuff, because we haven't really seen like any proper gameplay really we've seen like a couple of snippets of like battles and stuff and just running around but nothing like super crazy so yeah that's the nintendo direct stuff the next thing we're going to be going over is this from pokemon scarlet and violet this was posted by bangers and nash 44 saying icons in the scarlet and violet trailer one and in pokemon center slash gas stations in trailer two so this was revealed in the original trailer or the reveal trailer for pokemon scarlet and violet we have the starter screen here but down here there's this little like symbol kind of thing in this picture frame and then that exact same symbol also appears 
on the Pokemon Center slash gas station, whatever you want to call it, um, in the second trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So, this icon appeared in the first trailer. It looks like it could be the same icon as the one on the green counter next to the Pokemart and healing counters in the gas station slash Pokemon Center seen in the second trailer. Not entirely sure the two icons are the same, but they look pretty similar to me. Curious to see what people think this is going to be. I was suspecting maybe access to the PC, but lately we've been getting box links. Perhaps it's some new feature for like fast travel or the co-op connect that the most recent trailer showed us. My last thought is maybe it has something to do with character customization. The icon does kind of look like a head and shoulders. None of these options though would match up with the icon in the first trailer, so maybe it's something new or the two icons aren't related but just look a little alike. What piques my interest most about it is it has been given a color, like how blue symbolizes Pokemarts and red symbolizes Pokemon Center slash healing, which would suggest it is on the same level of importance, and that every center we have seen has one, which means it would be used as much as the other two. So yeah, as you can see, we have blue here, which is probably going to be the market, um, then red there for potential like healing and stuff. Uh, and then, yeah, this green one is something else. So, anyway, I thought this might be a bit more interesting discussion as opposed to all the gimmick speculation. Um, and then we have people saying, I'm thinking multiplayer connection um, and trading since this is on a Pokemon Center. I really like the other commenters' idea about an information desk, though. Um, we are probably for the move reminder uh, name rater like how it was in sword and shield where there are three sections in the pokemon center uh, one for healing one for shopping and one for stuff like checking memories it's probably is going to be that which i'm really really happy they introduced in pokemon games because it just makes life so much easier guessing it's an information slash help desk looks like a light bulb uh neat no idea what it is for though i can't wait for the game to be out at least we get good information and compare that was in the initial trailer and what we know it will be fun to point out all the easter eggs and connections i'm thinking clothes slash accessories it wouldn't be for multiplayer because um, that had been tied to menu or a button. Um, so yeah, that's kind of this new sort of little symbol thing that's popped up. Again, what do you guys think it is? Let me know your thoughts on it. The last thing we're going to be going over is this post by your boy Pants, who um, has basically come up with some really cool theories about like these five potential forms for Koridon and Maridon. So I think I have a solid theory as to how these alleged five forms of the legendaries may work. Uh, I have a lot of ideas uh, thought out and didn't feel like making a thread. So here's my theory typed out on my phone's notes app. So, Coridon slash Maridon. So, five forms. So, we have the base battle form, which is obviously the base type. We have surf form, which is obviously adding water as a third type. The land transportation adds something as a third type. Sky transportation, which adds flying as a third type. And then climbing, which adds rock as a third type. So, if we are getting like third types for this new gimmick, and it is also to do with the legendaries they could very well add new types to uh, or well they could add extra types to their types again we think it's dragon fighting and dragon electric that's what basically we've seen from the leaks from ku um so we can kind of confirm that but again they might have added types to them as you progress through the game you get to unlock the forms to gain access to new areas i feel like that might be what we end up having to do because obviously the pokemon have been talking so much about how you can kind of just go through these games to your heart's content you know there's no linear storyline or anything like that but i think certain areas will be blocked off until you get certain things like maybe you can battle any gym in any order but once you get three gym badges then you get the ability to fly or the ability to surf and then that unlocks like new areas and stuff like that for Koridon, maybe you could get some type of sacred runes that unlock its ability to change into one of its forms after completing certain tasks or milestones in the story. And then for Maridon, it could work the same, but rather than sacred uh, runes to fit the traditional style Scarlet seems to be about, you get mechanical uh, technological upgrades for Maridon that allow it to become these forms. So again, really, really cool theory. I do like this theory. I do like the idea of adding a third type to when they kind of change form. Again, five forms is very much just a rumor at the moment uh it's a very it's, it's a rumor that's likely to happen but of course it's not been confirmed yet now we think one of those forms could also be just like a motorbike or something which could be the land transportation um and then again maridon has like the jet engines for kneecaps so that could be some sort of like jet um, sort of situation going on there either way a really cool theory shout out to you boy pants but that's going to be everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it uh what are your thoughts on the nintendo direct uh what are you expecting to see in it let me know of course we will be streaming it live when it does finally get announced and we do get a confirmation of the date and then of course what are your thoughts on this symbol here and then what are your thoughts on the legendary forms that's everything from me though if you did enjoy drop a like let's try it at 500 subscribe if you're brand new ring the notification bell but yeah that's everything from me have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time peace